Teo. The referee's letting it. Teo. He must oh, we get that near post angle. Nicely done. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Christian Teo card to review today. I actually might do this on my main account because he is a former FC Porto player, and he was actually pretty good for us, to be honest with you guys. But for the sake of the review, let's check him out, see what the vibes are with this card. Obviously, with him being a what-if upgrade, uh, he could get upgraded in the future for potentially better stats, right? So we have to see what his base characteristics are like and seeing whether or not, with the improvement in the future, it could be a good card, right? So he's 5'10", high-medium work rates, right-footed, right uh, four-star skills with a four-star weak foot. So right off the bat, we're starting off hot for base card stats. Uh, player traits, he does not have the finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait. In-game attributes, he's got 93 acceleration with 95 sprint speed, which is good for base card stats. 90, 82, 93, 82 long shots with 89 volleys at 80 composure. So the composure, we do want that to be improved in the future um, as much as possible, obviously. Uh, for base card stats, for passing, his passing stats are actually very good. Don't necessarily need to improve that with an engine or anything like that. Um, the main focus with a card like this is going to be improving his shooting and his dribbling as much as possible. Now, obviously, with the marksman chemistry style, we still have the card in the 80s for some of the areas in regards to agility, balance, and reactions. But like I said, guys, if this card gets upgraded, upgraded and it's put into the 90s, we're looking at a card that can dribble really nicely in-game uh, depending on the situation, right? Uh, let's see what the rest of this card's up to. So with dribbling, 87 agility, 88 balance, we will be testing that in-game with the 5'10 height while working with the lean body type, right? So the lean body type is a very big deal for potential upgrades in the future as well. Um, what else we got here? Uh, defending the card has no defensive stats. Physical, he's got 72 for strength with 83 stamina and 84 for jumping. So 83 stamina, we do want that to be improved in the future as well if an upgrade were to come through. Real Betis, I believe, are actually doing really well this season. I think they might be in like fifth or sixth place. So Potential upgrades with this card for sure, but we're going to be trying him out regardless because we need to see if his base characteristics are good. Uh, with Rafinha's card, right? You know, the card was a, that was like 400k. Yeah, he could potentially get upgraded, but I didn't like his base characteristics to be a card in the future. And to be honest, I used him even on other people's accounts and it just really didn't do it for me. So we'll see if Christian Tile is the same, uh, even if he's not necessarily a great card to get i may still get it myself again fc portal vibes right so uh and it's a right mid card so it kind of gives me some good link ups with certain players but let's check out this card in game so obviously i like to use these cards in the cam and striker position to test out their attacking ai you know test out their build-up play all that fun stuff so we'll just have long ball pressure on heavy touch we'll put christian teo up top in the striker position uh the only instruction that we're going to have on him is going to be stay forward for all three of the main attackers we just did the uh review for Lionel messi's player of the month card so be sure to check that out if you guys haven't already because Oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, let's get into a game, see if this card is any good, and uh, we'll take it from there, boys. A lot of cards to review today. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and switch to the 3 5 2. Let's see what this card's all about, man. Moves to the side position, eh? Okay. So I just wanted to just stop there because I just wanted to see if he would do anything. Uh, attacking AI movement like that, guys, is, uh, is really, really based for like left mid, right mids. I want to see if he does that consistently, though. Oh, I try to get the shot cancel right there. He doesn't really have, like, a crazy animation for it in that situation. But... Oh, I try to get him on the finesse shot right there, too. I'm testing out his dribbling a little bit. You do notice that the agility and balance is not crazy high up there. Just kind of how like the mechanics of the game work. Ooh. Shot across goal there. Oh, the acceleration touch close to the goalkeeper kind of messed with me there. I didn't expect that second touch, to be honest. Yeah, just a regular strike from a bad angle right there. Just want to test that out. Oh, we get that near post angle. Nicely done. You kind of, with players like this, when their agility and balance is not too high up, you kind of have to time your left stick in a way where you have to let go of it and then time it again uh, to kind of like accelerate into certain positions. But he does well over there. It's very obvious that this card 
in my opinion, strictly belongs on the sides. Like, if you're playing like a 4-4-2, you know, kind of like how Porto used to play. Not used to play, they actually do play with that formation still. Um, they're, Porto's, like, they, they always change it up sometimes, right? It's like a 4-4-2. Uh, sometimes it's a 3 at the back, like a 3-1. A 3-1, um... What is it? 3-2, 4-2? Uh, like, my math is, like, not... You know, I'm in a game, guys. I'm in a game. But, yeah, you know, left mid, right mid is definitely where I think this card belongs the most, for sure. With the way that he's moving across the pitch so far, for sure. Uh, he definitely needs the dribbling boost, for sure, for base card stats as well. But, um, yeah. Nicely done. I just have to get that small little touch there for that finesse job. You can kind of see that his reaction time to be able to just take that small little touch was a little bit off, right? And he doesn't really push it too far off, but we're still able to score that. And we get the rage quip. Round two. That's the angle that you do those things, by the way, is from. Because it's like, if you get the touch away from the defender, it's literally just run and shoot afterwards. <laughs> Gonna force run out of him right here, actually. Messi has crazy passing, so ball roll, ball roll, one more on his weak foot. Oof. We almost get that. We almost get that. Uh, doesn't have the finesse shot trait, so I don't expect it to come off, especially since his uh, shooting is the way that it's set up. Yeah, this is the type of card, guys, where obviously as a base SBC, it's not really uh, crazy to work with, but you are working for a card that could potentially get upgrades that, you know, does strictly feel like a person that belongs in the left mid, right mid position. Oh, I thought I was going to get that. Oh, we still do. Ball roll, ball roll, get inside. Oh. Under pressure, kind of like pushes the ball away a little bit there too. That's like composure, kind of like doing that as well, right? So it's a combination of the dribbling and the composure. Oh, bar D, baby. Let's get it, Teo. My boy. Hey man, you guys know me, if the card is usable, especially since he's an FC Porto pass and present squad little, little beast, then definitely going to do this card. Guys, like I said, if he gets the dribbling boost, he could be a really, really fun card to use, to be honest. I'd even maybe use him as like my attacking-oriented center mid, you know? Just make sure that you have uh, three midfield set up, like if it's like a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two or something. I'm going to force around of him right here again. Time that pass there. Little pass here on the angle. Ah, too much there. Or too little. <laughs> Empty space here. Ooh, good run right there, though. That was a good run. I like that. Angled on the inside as well. You see that space there? Nice. Oh, man, that dribbling was weird. I wanted him to kind of take a touch from that, like, initial pass just on the inside of the 18. That would have been perfect. I'm getting used to his attacking AI a little bit more. It's actually like, you know, he's actually doing stuff, which is cool. With cards like this, guys, I'm not saying like to not use them in certain positions, right? I'm just saying where their best positions are going to be. Like with him, it's definitely the left mid, right mid position for sure. But, you know, he's doing the thing. Look, look at the movement right there. First time strike. Nice, bro. I would even force that run with him too. Let's go. This one I'm forcing out of him. Barrel strike. Oh, let's go, baby. I'm definitely going to unlock him on my main account. Oh, we get the rage quit again. Let's go. So it's like I'm trying to tell you guys, right? So again, with the Marksman chemistry style, just take a look at his base card stats, right? The agility and balance being improved for a card like this, guys, with the composure also being improved, could be a really, really cool card to use in your team, for sure. Especially since they're probably going to boost his stamina as well from the upgrade, because his base card stats for passing is also very good too. So for me, I would definitely use him on, this, on the side positions for sure. But he's, he's doing the thing for me at Striker. Like, his attacking AI is actually quite decent. Like, you can definitely work with it. It's not like super stagnant like in certain situations he is because he doesn't belong at striker for sure uh but you know movement like that in the left mid right mid position is definitely preferable for sure i always have this thing in fifa where it's like when i use cards that i'm familiar with from real life i just it makes me enjoy the game more man i'm telling you like i i just i'm enjoying using this tail card for what it is you know 
it has all the base stuff to make him usable in this game. Like, he's obviously not going to be, like, some sort of top-tier meta card, but he's fun, man. I'm going to force run of him right here again. Time this pass like that. Going to go on the inside here. Ball roll, heal to heal. Oh, we get that finesse shot angle. Let's go, man. See, it, it, with these cards, like I said, guys, you just have to time the left stick dribbling a little bit differently, right? Like, you can't really dribble them like Messi. You kind of have to go, like, let go of left stick, go in. Let go of left, left stick, let go in, you know? Stuff like that. I should put the control on the screen for you guys, actually. I could put it at the top right. It is a little bit distracting, but I think you guys would definitely like it, so... That's the angle right there that I was trying to show you guys earlier. Oh, Teo's got the pace for it, man. Chip. Ooh! Let's go, Teo. My boy. One day, guys, we will live in a world where my three tackles that I just did right there will actually reward me with an interception. Or a good tackle. One day, guys. One day. Oh, see, that little bit of an animation is what slows him down, because if I'm able to just do that little thing right there, and then shoot it near post or for a finesse shot along, uh, like, you know, across goal, would be nice, would be nice, but... Oh, we actually got that tackle off, no shot. Oh, I did a different skill moment and just registered the heel-to-heel -heel there, that's weird. All right, guys, so final verdict on this Christian Teo SBC card. So let's talk about a few things because this is a what if SBC. So it is a card that could potentially get upgraded in the future. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think he's pretty cool to use. Now, obviously, for sentimental value, that's one reason why I like him. But not only that, but he's actually incredibly usable in the game. He doesn't feel uh, like a complete nuisance to use. And the reason why I say this and the reason why it's important to say this is because with a card like this, if you give him the dribbling boost in the agility and balance department, right, for base card stats, which is what EA is probably going to do, the card is actually going to be really fun to use. Why? Because he doesn't have an average body type. He has a lean body type, and the lean body type is what really saves this card. Now, you know, you can go back and forth in regards to what chemistry style you should give a card like this. You could totally give him a finisher chemistry style as well, because, again, you can even see that if you were to give him the reactions, ball control, and composure boost while working with shooting stats like this, the upgrade's going to be a very, very huge welcome upgrade on a card like this because of that lean body type, right? So it makes a huge difference for a card like this. Will you be unlocking this card for some sort of meta variable? Absolutely not. He's not going to be like a meta card by any means, but he has all the base card stuff to be usable in this game, right? The four-star, four-star dribbling, if if he gets improved, will be actually really nice because of the lean body type. Five foot ten height's pretty decent. Stamina being increased to maybe like an 86 would definitely be very nice. Uh, it's an incredibly usable version of himself, you know, but uh, it's a card that I actually might complete on my main account because it's nice for the FC Porto past and present squad, and I thought he was cool, man, so yeah, if you want to do it for that reason, sure, but he's not going to be like a meta card by any means, right, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, I'll catch you guys for the next one, peace out dudes, love you guys.